Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving, but now we're back to Dragon Ball Super. So episode 117, let's get to it. So this starts off with Goku just completely drained after defeating Kefla. He can't even stand, he just falls down to the floor and he's not really able to move. And of course, a lot of people see Goku as weakened, so they, you know, they aim for him. So you have uh, Gohan and Piccolo and Vegeta who are just like, okay, we gotta go defend, you know, Goku because he's weakened. If we don't go defend him, he's he's done. So I'm just gonna push him off because, I mean, at this point, that's all they have to do. They just have to, like, pick him up and throw him off. There's not much you can do. He's just so weakened at this point. But before Gohan and Piccolo can get there, the Namekians jump back in and detain him. So Gohan and uh, Piccolo are stuck fighting the Namekians again. And Vegeta runs into that, uh, police robot guy who can transform and you know so he starts fighting Vegeta and Vegeta's just like you know what here's a good opportunity for me to try to get into Ultra Instinct <laughs> and Vegeta is ridiculous so his plan is to get himself beat so he just goes limp he drops his arms to the sides and he's just like okay let's do this so the you know futuristic police guy just starts beating the crap out of Vegeta he's just punching him non-stop just do 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 and Vegeta's just taking those punches because he's like, I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to let my body react like Goku. <laughs> and, you know, every, everyone comments on it. They're like, oh, at first they're like, what, what's Vegeta doing? And they're like, oh, well, he's probably trying to get into Ultra Instinct mode to catch up with Goku. So eventually he gets tired of it because this guy's just, he's not really that strong. So he's not really hurting Vegeta, but he's just, I, I'd get, you know, tired of someone just randomly punching me as well. It's probably just felt like slaps to Vegeta, honestly. So, you know, he, he blocks his punch and then he just kind of just starts laying into him, just, you know, punching the shit out of him and just, he launches him, so. But we don't, we don't really see what happens to Vegeta. I guess he just stays there fighting him or standing around. Anyway, but we go over to um, Universe 3. Is that what universe it is? The Magical Girl Universe, whatever it's called. Anyway, um, they come up with a plan or their, their god says, like, I have a plan. So she calls the magical girls and a few the remaining her fighters for her plan. Before we get to that though, we have a, a scene with, um, what is it, uh, 17 and 18, which is actually a really, really good scene because they're brothers and sisters and, you know, they, they notice that, you know, they're going for Goku. So before they could get there, 18 was injured in one of the previous battles. It is this nice, like I said, nice brother-sister scene where they're just kind of talking, you know, they take a little bit of time to talk where, you know, 18 is just like, I heard that, you know, after the tournament, you're going to use your money to travel around the world with your family and everything like that. She's like, I completely understand, you know, I have Krillin and Marin, my family, you know, so it, it's just like this nice moment where 17 just wrapping her leg and healing her, you know, we see the, the brothers and sister talking, so it's, it's a really nice moment, but then they go over to help Goku, who is, um, who was surrounded by Universe 2, or the Magical Girl Universe. The five remaining fighters of that universe go to fight him. So he's pretty much surrounded. Really, realistically, like I said, it, already, it probably would have just taken one fighter. But they, they shoot a beam at Goku, you know, thinking that they're going to finish him off. Just like, hey, one beam and he's done. Uh, Ribrian does that. Or Ribrian and uh, Rosie. They shoot like a, a heart beam. Like they combine their arms and they shoot a heart beam at him. And before it hits Goku, because Goku's just like, <laughs> he's like, okay, well, let me see what I can do. But 17 and 18 come, and they just, they blast it away, saving Goku's life. And Goku's just like, oh, man, <laughs> thank you, guys. I, I, I don't know what I was going to do. So Ribrian and Rosie take on 17 and 18, and they just start fighting around. But the three remaining warriors from that universe decide that, hey, we're going to go, you know, knock off Goku. So they walk over to Goku, and Goku's just like, Oh, you know, you want to fight me? You know, I can take care of you guys. But he stands up and he just starts stumbling back because <laughs> at this point he's severely weak, you know. I'm surprised he's still able to move around in the least. He just, he's so out of energy. We'll see how he gets his energy back, but <laughs> he's pretty much done at this point. He can't really do anything. So we see the fight, you know, 17 and 18 are fighting. They're, they're doing good. Ribrian and Rosie aren't really much of a match for them. Like, they're attacking intensely, like, just a bunch of fast attacks. So 17 and 18, they're, they're kind of just dodging a lot. But they get, you know, a few hits in there because they're faster and they are definitely stronger. They're just avoiding all these fast-paced attacks. So eventually, uh, 17 and 18 notice that 
Ribrianne really isn't a good team player. She's not a good teammate. Like, she hits Rosie, like, I think one time, and they, they noticed it. They kind of glance over at each other. They're just like, you, you see that, you know? So they kind of, I guess, had twin telepathy or whatever. So they come up with a plan. So their plan is that uh, they trick uh, Ribrianne to shooting this big old heart beam at 18 because she jumps up in the air, and they're like, oh, well, she, you know, Ribrianne's like, she won't be able to dodge. So she shoots a blast, but 18 was right in front of 17, and uh, Rosie, they were fighting right in front of them. So 18 shoots a blast to the side, you know, launching her so she doesn't hit by the blast. And it, 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 the blast, the heart beam goes right towards 17, but 17, you know, obviously knows the plan. He jumps out of the way and it hits Rosie, so it launches her up to the air. And then 17 shoots a blast at uh, Rib, uh, Rosie, knocking her off. So this is our first elimination in this episode. There's one more. And I believe we're down to 27 fighters now. Last week we were down to 28 after Kefla was defeated. So Rosie defeated, you know, one of the three magical girls from the beginning of the, you know, this tournament. So <laughs> this universe is, is suffering. They lost, <coughs> oh man, excuse me. They lost one of their good fighters. So uh, the fight continues. Uh, Ribrianne falls down. She's in her weakened state or her, her regular form. I almost forgot she was, you know, she transformed. It's been so long. <laughs> so she falls down in her base form, her regular human form. And, you know, 18 is just like, you're, you're pretty much done. There's nothing else you can do. And she's like, no, I'm not done yet. And she kind of tricks 18. She shoots a blast and 18 kind of dodges it. And she's just like, whatever. But it turns out she distracted her to shoot some weird energy thing beneath the floor. And it captures 18. So 18 is pretty much captured. And Ribrianne's like, you're, 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 you're done. I'm going to defeat you. But 17 can't go help her because this robot guy comes out of nowhere. Like, really, he comes out of nowhere and just smashes 17 into a rock. I'm like, you weren't even shown in the beginning of the episode. <laughs> like, so what's going on? But I mean, it's a battle royale, so it's kind of whatever. So the rest of uh, Ribrianne's team, they get these magical wands and they start waving it around. And I guess they say it's their love, but I'm like, that, that's definitely cheating. That thing shoots energy beams at Ribrianne and it causes her to transform into this giant like lights figure of herself so she's about to smash <clears throat> again i'm sorry i'm my family's sick so they kind of got me sick <clears throat> she's about to smash freaking um 18 but you know 18 starts remembering her family because when they were fighting 18 mentioned that she's like i'm fighting for my husband i'm fighting for my daughter you know she's like you're single i have a lot more to lose in this you know if our universe gets destroyed than you do so you know 18 you know she's usually very cold so that was a very open moment for her you know she's just like hey i'm in this tournament for my family you know you're just in this to win for love or whatever so she remembers marin and you know krillin she has a bunch of flashbacks of them and then you see krillin just screaming she's like 18 18 you know so he's just yelling for her so she busts out of the the, the trap that uh Ribrian has her in and you know Ribrian goes with her giant punch and 18 just she blocks it with her her little fist which is really amazing you know i'm like go 18 man so 18 blocks the fist and just it explodes it just completely shatters like that it's crazy just this giant fist of light just shatters and she starts running up the arm and then 17 comes out of nowhere because he dealt with the robot who was in his way and he starts helping 18 run up the body and 18 eventually just smashes right through Ribrian's giant head. It's amazing. It's like a, a freaking headshot. She just has a, a big old circle right through the, her head. <laughs> so she the her magical light body explodes and Ribrian falls off the arena. So this is the our second elimination for this episode. Ribrian finally eliminated, which I'm kinda happy about because she was kind of getting on my, my nerves and honestly <laughs> honestly so we're down to 24 fighters. I don't. Did I say 27 earlier? We're down to 24 fighters. We we, we had 26 fighters last week. So if I said 27 earlier, my bad. <laughs> so Ribbian's defeated. That universe is down to three fighters, and the episode ends with a weekend Goku, you know, confronting the three remaining warriors of that universe, like uh, they did earlier in the episode. So that pretty much that. That's where the episode ends. Um, I know the title of the next episode is like Universe Gets Destroyed. So it's up in the air if Universe 6 or Ribrianne's Universe, Universe 2, is that the Universe 3? Whatever. Gets destroyed next week. I mean, both Universe might uh, might get destroyed because one Universe is down to three fighters who are probably extremely weak. 
And then we just got the two Namekians versus Piccolo and Gohan. So either one of those universes can be eliminated. My money's on Universe 6 because uh, we as the viewers have a bigger connection towards those characters. So it will be more impactful seeing Champa and Kaba and all of them just erased. You know, so I, that's, that's where my money's at. Overall, this episode was okay. Uh, I enjoyed having 17 and 18 together fighting. I, I, I just love them seeing together. And I like those moments between them, you know, as a brother and sister. And just the, the warm opening or moments that 18 just opens up and just just like, when so now it's like, hey, I'm here for my family, not just money, you know, because sh usually she's just like, oh, money, 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 I'm mean and I'm cold, you know, I'm a Sundre or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's where the episode ends. Uh, like I said, not bad, you know. Uh, it, it's tough to beat the, the final moments of le last week, you know, honestly, Kepler versus Goku was just crazy. So if you saw the episode, what did you think? You know, are you glad the magical girls are finally gone? I know I am. <laughs> I was tired of them. I'm glad they're eliminated. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> it just makes me happy because Vibrianne was just, she was kind of annoying. You know, she's always love, love, love. And at the end of this episode, she realizes that, you know, hey, maybe there is different kinds of love out in the universe, not just my love. <laughs> so it was good to see her go. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. You know, uh, thank you for watching as always. Like and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Hey, if you like this video, we have several other awesome videos you can check out. And again, thanks for watching.